stop letting your low end PC hold you back. I'm about to show you the ultimate tweaks that make even the weakest setups run smoother, faster, and almost like a NASA PC. These simple tricks are what most people forget. And if you skip this video, you're gonna be struggling with lag, stutters, and all that stuff. So make sure you stick around by the end because your PC will be completely different. Now let's get straight into it. Now the first tweak that we need to do is on your keyboard, press the Windows key and R at the same time, then this will pop up, the run will pop up. System properties performance.exe. Make sure you type that right there. If you have to pause it, then make sure to pause the video. Once you do that, press OK on here. Performance options will pop up. There's going to be th three options you can choose from. Literally just press adjust for best performance. You do not want any of these ticks on your PC. Once you do this, you can press apply and OK. And just like that, that's the first tweak done. Let's go into our second one already. Now for this tweak, we're going to be making sure you're on the best power plan possible. Again, head over to the search bar, search edit power plan, just like so. Go on to this one right here, then go on to power options just like so i'll make it full screen for you guys now what you need is ultimate performance you can see how many times i've done this before and if you're thinking to yourself jinchi i don't have ultimate performance there do not worry about it go in the description of my video join the discord channel it's completely free by the way then head over to the announcements page by the way whilst you're on my discord channel literally go over to the giveaway part i've literally bought a ryzen extreme tweaking pack for you guys all you have to do is literally be subscribed with notifications to the youtube channel and literally add a reaction to this message and if you're thinking what the hell is the Ryzen Extreme Tweaking Pack. It is literally a tweaking utility. You pin to your PC, you press a couple buttons that you want to turn on and it will tweak your PC. I bought it and it made my PC into a NASA PC. I'm not even joking. It's crazy good. So make sure you do enter the giveaway. But now going back to the power plan settings, go over to the analysis page, copy this line of code right here, control C. We're going to close Discord, go on to CND. Now, once you search that, run as administrator, click onto yes, just like so, and then it will open right here. Make sure it says administrator on the top left press ctrl v and enter once you press enter ultimate performance will pop up right here then close this up go back into the power options just like so now ultimate performance will be there literally click onto it just like so once you do click onto it go on to change plan settings turn off the display make sure you go on to never change advanced power options ultimate performance make sure it is active once it's active press ok right there save changes then we can close this up now for this next part of the video the most advanced part of this video we're going to be going to our reg edit so press windows and r search red edit it just like so press ok then you'll be greeted onto this screen right here now again this is super confusing but this is what you need to do to your pc to get the highest frames possible so first thing you want to do is bring down the hq local machine once you bring that down then bring down software once you bring software down then bring down policies remember if you have to pause the video it's completely fine make sure to pause it do not get this wrong once you bring down policies go over to microsoft microsoft you bring that down go on to windows then you bring down windows scroll down until you see data collection once you see data collection left click onto it then you'll be greeted by three things right here allow telemetry double click onto this the value data must be zero and hexadecimal once you do this press ok and there's gonna be one more that we need to find now for the next one you guys need to do this hk current user bring that down app events bring that one down schemes then you bring that one down apps bring that one down default bring that one down scroll down until you see windows log on windows log on you just bring that one down current you just bring that one down then you double click onto this literally just like so value data make sure you copy mine exactly how it is this can be done for every single pc by the way it makes so much of a difference so if your value data some people literally have nothing here make sure you copy this literally as it is once you do this press apply press ok now for our next step go onto the search bar search game mode literally just like so game mode settings make sure game mode is on then go on to game bar make sure game bar is off captures as well i like to have captures off if you do want to clip anything literally go on to GeForce experience it is 10 times better than using the Xbox stuff and literally one second just before I tell you if you want zero ping if you want the best ping booster in the game there is a free trial of gear up down in the description so if you're lagging in games literally download gear up in the description for free by the way so you don't have to pay a penny and enjoy zero ping so many pros are using it I don't want you guys to be left out so if you are serious about zero ping make sure to give it a go and now whilst we're on the settings literally search GPU graphic settings gonna pop up make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling make sure this is on like it says reduce latency and improve performance it literally does exactly that some people like to browse and add Fortnite right here i don't find it any different for my pc but of course you guys can give it a go literally press browse locate your Fortnite, and put it in right there
right there. Now, just before we get into our next week, if you can quickly leave a like on this video, quickly subscribe, honestly, it'll mean so much. But now we can press back onto the settings, literally search notifications and action settings. Make sure right here, notifications are off. This is super important for your PC. Also, another thing, make sure to search for background apps, just like so, click to background apps. Background apps, they need to be off. And also location settings, this is off. Camera settings, make sure, allow apps to access your camera if you are using any like recording tools like OBS, just like me. If not, make sure this is off as well. That is super important for your PC. Once we do this, close this up. We'll head down to the bottom and go on to task manager. Once we're on task manager, go on to startup. I'll make a full screen for you guys. Make sure everything is disabled right here. Apart from obviously the things that you have to have enabled. So I play Valorant, so I have to have Vanguard enabled or it's super hard for my PC to turn it on automatically, manually when I want to play Valorant. So make sure disable everything right here. Once you do this, you can close that up as well. And now for our next week, literally head over to the search bar, system configuration, just like so. System configuration, go on to general, selective startup, load system services, make sure that is ticked. Load startup items, make sure that is ticked. And once you do that, by the way, you can head over to the boot section. Timeout, you need to pick a number between zero seconds and five seconds. Now, most of you don't have the best PC, so I would recommend four seconds or five seconds, meaning that is the worst you can pick. Four or five is quite a bad PC. Three and two is a mid-range PC. One and zero seconds, very good PC. Now, advanced options, tick this number of processes, make sure you can click the maximum amount. Once you do this, press apply. Timeout, again, for me, I have a mid-range PC, so I'm gonna click three, press apply, press okay. Now wait for our next tweaks, by the way. This is where things actually get crazy. Now for our next tweak, we're gonna be given the best NVIDIA control panel settings. Please, please do copy these settings because they're so important for your PC and it makes your PC 10 times faster as well. Now, once you load up, go on adjust image settings with preview, use the advanced 3D image settings, take me there, click onto that. Now I know this is super tedious to do, but make sure you do copy these settings. These are the best of the best settings. Since I first started my YouTube channel, these are the exact settings I used because a pro literally tweaked my PC. So these are pro settings, so make sure you copy it. If you do have to pause it, do pause it. And again, I'm not gonna be able to talk for every single one because literally the video will be 20, 30 minutes long. It's gonna be crazy. So once you do this, we can go adjust desktop color settings. Make sure you have these exact settings. Brightness at 50%, contrast at 50%, gamma ratio at plus one. Once you do that, by the way, adjust desktop size and position. You can select the scaling modes. Aspect ratio, full screen, no scaling, integrated scaling. The best of the best, is no scaling second best is full screen third best is aspect ratio some people may find if they go to no scaling that they may have black bars on the side of their screen that's why i'm not playing no scaling but if you can make sure to play no scaling then obviously try full screen then try aspect ratio simple as that perform scaling on make sure your display you don't want any strain on your gpu then override the scaling mode set by games and programs make sure that is ticked once you have that ticks make sure to press apply press ok then we can close this setting already now that is the end of this video if you did enjoy it please do leave a like please do subscribe and I'll see you guys on Nate on this week.